Hi, I'm Jaime Villagomez, and my title is Chief Financial Officer. So we're in a small city in the state of Guanajuato, Mexico, and the city's name is Yuridia. And the, uh, the reason that I put it up is that uh, it reflects on uh, an article on Wikipedia that I really enjoy, and it's about the town of Yuridia. And the reason why it uh, is close to me is it's the place where uh, my father was born. And behind you, you can see this is uh, the church in the town, and it's the place where I was baptized with my cousin, who uh, is my age and continues to live in the town of Yuridia, Guanajuato. In terms of the department, what I do is uh, co compliance and examples of that is successful audits, uh, the filing of our IRS filing, the Form 990, and the processes that are associated with that. Another important area is financial management, meaning the, how we create resources for the department so people are well informed on their budgets and how they're utilizing the budgets. And then I also have uh, two uh, related but uh, distinct groups, which is facilities and ITS. And there uh, we're looking at our internal processes and systems to be able to support our staff uh, to make sure that we have an effective working environment. During the last year, um, one thing certainly that I'm proud of is, a, is how the FNA, the Finance and Administration team has supported the foundation. And, it, and here are a couple of really clear examples. So as we began the year, we were very much uncertain about how the fundraising was gonna go for the year. And so we were monitoring with the fundraising team, the progression that we were making. And when it became pretty evident that uh, the year was turning out to be more successful than we anticipated, we took the action of doing a, I use the word recalibration, which is engaging with teams to identify those opportunities that, that had been described previously in the annual plan that we felt uncertain about working on. And we took the action to start activating them. Uh, and the way we did that is again by monitoring uh, the utilization of the resources, how the uh, deliverables and the objectives were progressing within the departments and keeping an eye on these fundraising results. And so that's, that's one example. And the other is uh, one thing that I have to compliment the travel, now travel and convening team is they saw the opportunity of creating virtual events. We knew that we couldn't get, get together. And so they took the initiative to look at all sorts of different alternatives about how can we help the staff in this environment by creating virtual events. And so we, we identified new software tools, new engagement pr practices, and it seems like it really worked quite well, you know? Specifically under the annual plan, what's new for the finance and administrative team? One of the new initiatives that we have is, uh, so for Wikimedia Enterprise and the endowment, uh, we are moving, we are implementing those initiatives um, and some work has happened this year. So next year, what we'll be doing is we'll be establishing the new workflows to support those two particular entities, uh, Wikimedia Enterprise and the endowment as the endowment moves from uh, the Tides Foundation into its own 501c3. The other area that is, I'd say not so new, but uh, continues to be an, uh, an area of focus is, our fo is uh, the continuous process improvement by what does that really mean? Uh, what that means is that we have workflows, you know, people are doing work. How do we scale our systems, our processes 
especially as the movement is growing and the foundation is growing. So that's a key area of, 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 of focus that is somewhat new. You know, we engaged on it last year, but we will continue to focus in this area. The other work uh, within the department is uh, the continued improvement in uh, budgeting and planning. And so in this annual plan, uh, we established a much more clear connection between the work, which is the objective, the key results, and how the budgets have been um, al allocated to these objectives and key results. And so through this next year, uh, we have the ability to report on that information more, more easily, more systematically, uh, and allow the budget managers and the, the um, principals for these OKRs to actually extract the information on their own from the system. So again, a bit more self-service, but also um, having better engagement on these topics. So again, we can understand where are the resources being allocated, where things are slowing down, where things can be accelerated in service of the work plan, not just the financials.